Amazon Prime claims that Family Man is the most popular show, and why not? It stars legends like Manoj Bajpayee and so on. Also now, the incoming of the season 2 has created enough buzz on the internet. And a bit for the wrong reasons as the hashtag Family Man 2 against Tamils started to trend on Twitter and voices rose against it. So what exactly did Tamils find faulty? What is the whole issue about? Is it important for youngsters like you and me to know about it? Absolutely. So stay tuned with me until the video ends so you're able to exactly decipher the Tamil-Sinhala conflict that arose in Sri Lanka and how it is alive even today in both nations, namely India and Sri Lanka. So like a good explainer video, let us go back in history when Sri Lanka was called Ceylon and was a colony first of Portuguese, then Dutch and finally our very own the British. Now we have understood that this time, the population of Ceylon was comprising of two kinds of people. One, Sinhalese who were Buddhists and the other were Tamils who were Hindus. The Tamils formed a minority of around 3 to 4 lakhs in comparison to the Sinhalese who were over 30 lakhs in number. The Tamils predominantly hailed from the Jaffna region in the present day northern Sri Lanka. Now like every single time, British played their dirty trick, not sure if intentionally or intentionally and bought in about 10 lakh Tamils from India to Ceylon and made them work on tea plantations of the region which would be a profitable trade for them. The growing population of the Tamils added pressure on the Sinhalese and this developed a divide between the two. This further aggravated when the British started to prefer Tamils over Sinhalese for permanent jobs in the region which also included the post as civil servants. This was because the British were more familiar with the Tamils and they were more educated in comparison to the others. Be that as it is, we move straight to 1948 when Ceylon got independence. Of course, the majority population or the Sinhalese got an upper hand. They made Sinhala their official language, Buddhism the primary religion of the state and they also changed the name of the nation from Ceylon to Sri Lanka. And why wouldn't they? They were suppressed for so long, now it was time to bring their culture and ethos into the limelight. The Tamil population felt some significant downgrade, particularly those Tamils who had come from India and could not rise above the ranks of labourers. Even when changes were made in the 1978 constitution and Tamil was declared official language, it did not have any good impact on the Tamil locals. Thus was born the LTTE or the Liberation of Tamil Tigers Elam in 1976 under the leadership of Velu Pillai Prabhakaran and several young Tamils. The major intention of this militant group was to create a separate nation for the Tamils in Sri Lanka which will be called as Elam. These guys involved themselves in creating some notable amount of violence and savagery in the region. And of course, the government would retaliate and this became a full-fledged cycle. One such example is the famously infamous Black July which happened in 1983 and like the Tamils claim, the government involved itself in the ethnic cleansing of the Tamils in response to the killing of over 10 army men by the LTTE. This was a rough incident as thousands of Tamils died, houses burnt and a good amount of people went missing forever. It is after this that the Tamils started to firmly believe that they will only be safe when they have a nation of their own. By now, the LTTE had become extremely powerful, so much so that they would even run a parallel government and literally control the lives of the Tamils. Due to this, many people went away to other nations which included India. Now let us try to understand India's role in it. Since India itself was a natural home to the Tamils and we also witnessed some migration, India had to support the Tamils and the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi had a significant role to play. Indian Intelligence Agency Research Analysis Wing or what we call as RAW set up camps in India to train and arm the LTTE. But India definitely knew that if they would continue this, they would actually be fueling separatist tendencies in our own homeland, for example, in the region of Punjab or even Nagaland. Moreover, the LTTE started to collaborate with separatist groups of the South and increased violence. India eventually planned to drop the idea. One of the major incidents was in 1987 when Sri Lankan government launched the Operation Liberation or Wada Marachi Operation to liberate Wada Marachi, which was the hub of LTTE. In this operation, several Tamils were killed and India, in response, launched Operation Garland through which they sent aid in the form of food, oil and medicines to the Tamils, simply pointing out that they had to somehow solve the issue or India might continue to support Tamils. 
we must also note that the local tamils of the indian subcontinent were also building sufficient pressure on the government hence they had to take these steps as a part of dropping the plan india under prime minister rajiv gandhi signed an agreement with sri lanka through which india will send a peacekeeping force to sri lanka to maintain peace or even get a ceasefire done in the jaffna region now just think of the situation the whole conflict was between the sri lankan army and the ltte which later turned out to be the one between the indian army and the ltte in this attempt several tamils died and indian army became increasingly unpopular among the tamils apart from this we also lost a thousand of our brave men and we also spent some thousands of crore rupees on this finally by 1990 india had to withdraw from sri lanka though indian intentions were pure it had to face some unpleasant consequences the most important one was that of may 12 1991 when our prime minister rajiv gandhi was assassinated by a suicide bomber deployed by ltte as a revenge it is said that the violence finally came to an end in 2009 sri lankan army took control of the entire region of the northern sri lanka by defeating the ltte and getting rid of their leader it is believed that ltte exists today as a guerrilla outfit though this seems a situation on the surface a lot of experts believe that this issue burns in the hearts of the locals both in india and in sri lanka and the governments in sri lanka have not done much to take the process of integration forward we need to understand that tamilians in india have sympathies with tamilians who lost their lives in the civil war and failed to create a home state of their own in sri lanka tamilians in india also deny being recognized as terrorists with the ltte and that explains why they heavily resented against the incoming of the show family man 2 Well that's it for this video if you like our content subscribe to News Hamster and stay tuned with us until next time jai hind